In Sporting News Today, Lionel Messi supports a cause. Amare Stoudemire has back trouble. Who will play Gareth Thomas in a movie? David Beckham sells his English manner. And Gucci Grunier is a loyal GQ reader. Lionel Messi is supporting a good cause. Barcelona has teamed up with the National Paralympic Committee to launch the campaign We Are What We Do, We Are What We Achieve, which aims to raise awareness about disabilities and to adapt sports education to disabled children. For this campaign, four players from the different FC Barcelona teams each star in a spot. Hockey player Mark Tora, handball player Victor Thomas, basketball player Victor Sada, and football superstar Lionel Messi. The Argentinian player might not have become a living legend if FC Barcelona hadn't paid for a costly treatment to cure his hormone deficiency when he was growing up. This explains his commitment to this cause. Lionel Messi has also signed with League Two side Angers School. While not him, the Argentine prodigy is not leaving Barcelona. It's his namesake. The player in question is a Cameroonian youth. Why not? Two Ronaldos have made football history after all. Amari Stoudemire's season is in jeopardy. The New York Knicks star is suffering from back pains and may have to rest for four weeks to recover. The news seemed to trouble Al Troutvig, an announcer on American network MSG, which broadcast the New York team's games. While he was announcing the names of the players absent from the game, he made a huge mistake by mixing Stoudemire's disc with his dick. It's much more complicated for Amari Stoudemire. He did not finish Saturday's game against Detroit, and MRI reveals a bulging dick disc in his lower back. He's just landed a prime spot in the top 10 announcer slip-ups. Gareth Thomas's life is going to be made into a movie. The Welshman and first top-flight rugby player to step out of the closet certainly deserved his own feature film. Mickey Rourke was at one time considered for the part. The only problem is that he hasn't been able to undergo the intensive training necessary to make his body resemble that of a Greek god. Producers even considered resorting to special effects, but the idea was dropped. The new favorite is Tom Hardy, but that poses yet another problem. The actor is at least 10 centimeters shorter than Gareth Thomas and is also in high demand these days. He will even be playing the role of a villain in the upcoming Batman flick, The Dark Knight Rises. It's tough being an actor. David Beckham loves living in California. The Spice Boy doesn't seem ready to return to England and has even decided to sell his famous Beckingham Palace. His mansion located in the suburbs of London is worth approximately $26.7 million. And there's already a potential buyer, Kim Kardashian. The American reality TV star is interested in putting several of her family members up in this castle. The Beckhams are also considering selling their house in France. They've almost never stayed there and would rather sell it to allow someone else to enjoy it. Prospective buyers will nevertheless have to dish out $4 million. So David and Victoria are set to make a pretty penny. Gucci Grumier doesn't usually bother too much about his appearance. He spends his days in his fencing outfit. Regulation outfits include a full bodysuit and a protective mask. Not exactly snappy dressing. But when he's not training, Gucci Grumier is a real fashionista. His reference is GQ magazine. When I arrived at the INSEP in 2002, people said I was a bit eccentric, so I ended up getting interested in fashion. Every month I buy GQ magazine, I flip through it, and now I pay more attention to the clothes I wear and what I buy. Reality TV has set its sights on the world of football. Belgian television is going to wear On the Road to First Division, a show which follows three second division teams. Sporting Charleroi, Le Pen and Vaslan Beveren. No one is spared. From executives and coaches to players and the concierge, not to mention Wags, who will feature prominently in the show. Love, rivalry and suspense. Have Belgians discovered the perfect reality TV combination?